the South University PA program class of 2026. <laughs> My name is Dr. Kristen Smethurst and I am honored to serve as the program director and PA department chair. We are excited to share this milestone in your career progression with you. The white coat ceremony marks a significant moment in your professional development as you begin your journey into clinical practice. As you don your white coats, I wanna remind you of the immense responsibility that comes with this privilege. They say that heavy is the head that wears the crown, heavy are the shoulders that wear the white coat, right? As physician associates, you will be entrusted with the health and well-being of your fellow humans. You will be responsible for diagnosing and treating illnesses, counseling patients on their healthcare needs, and working collaboratively with other healthcare professionals to deliver high quality healthcare. More importantly, you will be charged with ensuring that patients receive the care they need and deserve. From this point forward, you are an advocate and your future patients should be at the center of all you do. Your patients are counting on you to lead with empathy, compassion, and humility in your interactions. These qualities are essential in building trust and fostering a positive and collaborative relationship. While you are here, you are not studying for the next exam, not even for your boards. You're studying for your patients. Um, <laughs> you are building a fund of knowledge to provide optimal care to those whose lives you will touch. I encourage you to embrace lifelong learning starting now and to always strive to grow and develop your skills as providers. Medicine is always evolving and deepening our collective understanding of the functions and failings of the human body. Your patients are counting on you to translate the best evidence-based medicine into excellent care. Be intellectually curious and always seek to learn more. Finally, I want to remind you that you are not alone on this journey. You have a community of fellow students, a dynamic and supportive PA program team, and community providers and professionals who are here to support you. Lean on each other, ask for help when you need it, and never be afraid to admit that you don't know something. Together we can help ensure that you become the best possible physician associates. I would like to extend a special welcome to your loved ones, sharing this moment with you both here and on the World Wide Web. I'll say hi to everybody out there. <laughs> no doubt their support is what made it possible for you to be here today. And now, the man who seldom needs an introduction. <laughs> I am honored <laughs> to introduce my friend, colleague, and mentor, Dr. Jeffrey Bishop. Dr. Bishop is a board-certified family medicine physician who earned his degree from the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine in 1985, in the 1900s, as they now like to say on <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> Prior to medical school, he spent 10 years in the United States Navy and earned his undergraduate degree as Bachelor of Science in Medicine as a physician assistant from the University of Nebraska. He was one of the youngest PAs in the United States Navy and achieved the rank of Chief Warrant Officer. With over 30 years of clinical practice in the local area, he has been instrumental in building the success of our program and our pool of uh, preceptors <laughs> for the clinical phase. Dr. Bishop remains deeply involved in the medical community after serving in high level leadership roles at local hospitals and medical organizations. Dr. Bishop, you are a medical director. It's 39 and a half years. I was <laughs> all, <laughs> all in this community. Well, welcome to the Physician Assistant Class of 2026 White Coat Ceremony. I would like to recognize South University West Palm Beach Campus Director and Dean of Academic Affairs and Operations, Diane, Diana Plank. I don't think she's here, is she? Uh, Dean of Students, Dr. Michael Grant, Program Director and Program Chair, Dr. Kristen Smethers, and the Dean of the College of Health Professions, Dr. Alaria. 
Gadala, class of 2026, family members and distinguished guests. I want to congratulate each of you on arriving at this milestone in your career. You have no doubt worked hard to achieve your goal of entering physician assistant school. As each of you walks across the stage today to receive your white coat, your journey in medicine will officially begin. In the words of Sir William Osler, the practice of medicine is an art, not a trade, a calling, not a business. You have answered that call. The white coat ceremony is a rite of passage, welcoming you as new physician assistants, students into the medical profession. As PA students, you are bound by the same professional commitments that bind all clinicians in the various fields of medicine. This ceremony will join the symbol of the white coat with the virtues of altruism, responsibility, duty, honor, respect, and compassion. In 1993, the first white coat ceremony was instituted at the Columbia University in New York City. This white coat ceremony is a result of a vision by Dr. Arnold P. Gold. Dr. Gold believed that medical students should be given well-defined guidelines regarding the expectations and responsibilities appropriate for the medical profession prior to their first day of seeing patients. I also believe that a declaration of commitment when students accept the obligations of our profession should be taken at the beginning of your training and not at the end. The white coat ceremony serves to welcome students to healthcare practice and elevate the value of humanism as the core of healthcare. It provides a powerful emphasis on compassion in combination with scientific excellence. The white coat reminds physician assistants of their professional duties. As described by Hippocrates, to lead their lives and practice their art in uprightness and honor. The white coat is a symbol of our profession. The wearing of the white coat is a century old tradition. The white coat originated in scientific laboratories and was adopted as a standard of dress by physicians in the late 19th century. As physicians sought to incorporate scientific principles in the practice of medicine. There are, however, some practical reasons for wearing your white coats. Ease of recognition, a need for carrying medical items, reference books. <laughs> your white coats will serve as a repository for information. I often called it my peripheral brain. <laughs> when all else fails, you can simply look in your pockets your white coats will soon be filled with spiral bound reference books, reference cards, index cards with patient information and folded journal articles that you will continue to keep reading. <laughs> as PA students, your white coat will serve as a time capsule of each rotation. The reference books in your pockets will change throughout the course of your different specialties that you will be rotating through. Your white coats will also carry medical equipment, including a stethoscope, a pen light, a tuning fork, and a reflex hammer. As a result, your white coats will be heavy. I personally always called it my peripheral brain. As one's training increases, the number of papers, pens, reference books, and instruments in the pockets actually decrease. There was actually a study that revealed as seniority increased, there was a reduction in what you carried and consequently a reduction in the weight of one's coat. In this moment of recognition, I want to emphasize your importance as a person and a PA in training at South University. You will play a vital role in the care of your patients. Your team will depend on you Reflection is important throughout your career. 
you must never forget your humble beginnings here at South University. As I was preparing for this address, I received an email from an old patient who asked that I give you some advice in regards to your white coat. I promised him that I would do that. A clean white coat can make such a difference in the care of your patients. My advice is to keep them clean, wash them often, avoid pocket stains, and consider having a spare coat when you wake up one morning and spill your coffee on your sleeve. Your white coat is important to your patient care. In a recent survey of patients published in the American Journal of Medicine, three quarters of the patients favored clinicians in professional attire. Whereas casual attire was only accepted by less than 5% of the respondents. Clinicians and physicians assistants that wear professional attire with a white coat inspired confidence and trust among patients. There was also a positive association with patients adhering to prescribed therapy. In a recent New England Journal of Medicine article, there was a student who was afraid to do presentations in front of their attendings. There is a stress of presenting patients to attending physicians. In actuality, each attending physician has her or his own style and that the time to present is really a chance for you to shine. Always be prepared. Presenting patients is the culmination of everything that a physician assistant student does for the medical team. Elicit the history, performing physical examination, gather lab data, and synthesize an assessment and plan. You will learn how to think clinically and to arrive at a diagnosis in order to formulate a plan. Be grateful. Think of the privilege you have to be where you are today. Of all the things that have changed throughout the years with medical education and technology, there is one thing that remains constant and never has changed, and that is performing a good history and physical exam on every patient. I want you to remember to thank all the people that have guided you and supported you through your endeavors to be here. The world would be a better place with you in it. Wear your coats proudly and remember what it stands for. Thank you. All right, it is now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Marilyn Surrey. Dr. Suri is an accomplished practice leader and physician associate with over a decade of expertise in the clinical and administrative aspects of medicine. She is a nationally recognized leader who has earned her seat at the leadership table. Um, she has made significant and lasting impacts in the realm of patient-centered quality improvements. Dr. Suri currently serves as the Chief Operating Officer of Vincenzo Novara MDPA, overseeing medical staff needs and operations across multiple hospitals. She also leads a sizable team of pulmonary and critical care physicians and advanced practice providers. She is the PA we should all aspire to be, and we are grateful to have her as a friend of our program and a mentor for us all. Dr. Suri. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, one second. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the gracious introduction and kind words. I am deeply honored to have received an invitation and granted the opportunity to share some pearls of wisdom at such an extraordinary milestone in your professional careers. 
Before I embark on pearls of wisdom, let me first introduce myself. In the coming months, I'll be your guide through the intricate realms of ventilator management, ARDS, surgical ICU, and the renal system, a four-hour lecture. <laughs> Brace yourself for a marathon of information. Some may even describe it as a roller coaster. You know, the ones with high velocities, inward sharp turns, twists and unforeseen drops defying gravity. Where I attempt the seemingly impossible task of transforming IV fluids into every student's favorite lecture. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some uh, discrepancies and a difference of opinions regarding IV fluids with <laughs> someone over there. Where I attempt the seemingly impossible task of transforming IV fluids into every student's favorite lecture during their didactic year. And who knows, you might find yourself captivated by my senior lecture on advocacy, leadership, and legislation. So as you sit here today soaking in the positivity of this speech, remember it fondly when we embark on our future lectures together. And if you ever feel the urge to set my PowerPoint presentations ablaze, <laughs> on fire, presentations I often title Death by PowerPoint, <laughs> at that very moment of torture that we will experience together, Remember my kind face at this podium <laughs> and your enthusiasm as a student. All jokes aside, today marks a pivotal moment in your journey, a moment of transition, reflection, and celebration. As you don on your white coats, you step into a profession that is both profound and demanding. Your coat represents countless lives you will touch, the healing you will bring, and the knowledge you will wield. Now, gr um, bright minds think alike because I use the same quote as Dr. Bishop. <laughs> in the words of William Osler, the practice of medicine is not an art, is an art, not a trade. A calling, not a business. A calling in which your heart will, ex will be exercised equally with your head. As physician associates, you are entrusted with a sacred duty, to alleviate suffering, to provide comfort, and to advocate for those who cannot advocate for themselves. But let us not shy away from the realities that lie ahead. Medicine is not just about the triumphs. It is also about the trials. As you embark on this journey, you will undoubtedly encounter moments that test your character and challenge your spirit. You will face long hours, sleepless nights, and moments of doubt grappling with complex cases. You will witness pain, loss, and the fragility of life. Yet, it is in these moments of darkness that your light shines the brightest. As Khalil Gibran once said, out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. Your journey will be marked by challenges but it is through those challenges that you will grow, evolve, and become the compassionate healers you all aspire to be. Remember, behind every diagnosis, every prescription, and every treatment plan, there is a human being, a person with hopes, fears, and dreams. As you embark on this noble profession, never lose sight of the humanity that binds us all together. As I have mentioned to previous cohorts, there are imperative concepts to retain during your didactic year and throughout your clinical rotations. We, physician associates, perform by remembering the three A's. One, be able. Master your craft with self-discipline and continuously re-educate yourselves. We are what we repeatedly do. Two, be a fable. Treat others as you would like to be treated with kindness, empathy, and respect. Three, be available. Show up, be a yes person. Be there for your colleagues and patients seeking your expertise. Find solutions in an environment that may only see barriers and tackle obstacles head on. Master the three A's and you will never fall short on performance. In the words of Mother Teresa, we cannot do great things on this earth, only small things with great love. 
This sentiment encapsulates the essence of your calling as healthcare providers. While you may not always have the power to perform grand gestures or monumental acts, you do possess the profound ability to infuse every action, every interaction with a transformative force of love. May you carry this love with you in every patient encounter, approaching each individual with empathy, compassion, and dignity. May it guide every decision you make, reminding you to prioritize the well-being and welfare of those entrusted in your care above all else. And may it permeate every life you touch, leaving behind a legacy of kindness, healing, and hope. For it is the small everyday acts of love that you will truly make a difference in the lives of others and in the world around you. So as you step forward into the realm of medicine, wear your white coat with pride, but also with humility. Let it be a symbol of your commitment to excellence, your dedication to service, and your unwavering compassion. Congratulations to cohort number four. The world awaits your healing touch. Good morning and the moment we've all been waiting for, right? <laughs> I will now call each student to present them with their white coat. Row one, please stand. a moment to settle, right? <laughs> Has to be perfect. This is an important moment. <laughs> Alberta. <laughs> Maha Ali. Megan Andres. Juanita Arredondo. Not without a few laughs, right? <laughs> Samantha Asara.
Sayla Baker. Leslie Beltran. <laughs> Markia Bobbian. Love it, we have our cheering committee. <laughs> Buzicky. Vincent Carta the third. <laughs> Al Shaley. Cahoon. <laughs> Megan Conlin. Dahlia Dave.
David Dormady. <laughs> Our beloved Vice President. <laughs> Kyle Drapo. <laughs> Christina Fernandez. Gabriella Gagno. Kaylee Hartman. Sydney Ho. Ramona Kiffing. Amanda Kutcher. <laughs> oh, row two, please stand. <laughs> through. This is the first test, right? With, with haste. <laughs> Please. Okay. Darian Lay. Vivian Lay. <laughs> 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 
Nicole Limparis. Sydney Lindquist. <laughs> Beatriz Lopez Gonzalez. Katie Marnin. <laughs> Mommy soon. <laughs> <laughs> Daylin Martinez. Shakiri McKnight. Jessica Oliveros. Cameron Owen. <laughs> Yasmin Pashon. Ruth Pasuk. <laughs> Tejas Patel.
Stephanie Perro. Moss Purcell. <laughs> Alyssa Rodkey. Montana Rogers. Jalen Sasson Bitters. Anna Slotnick. <laughs> Celine Sparks. Should have gave her the list. I feel like she could have done this. <laughs> Molly Stout. Bridget Sullivan. <laughs> Ellen Wise. Puig Zhang.
Thank you all. I did make one mistake, so I do apologize. We want you to have that moment again. So if I can just call Paige Howard. Oh, no. Is that what? You, okay. No, we're good. Sorry, did I make a? Okay, we're we are all set. We're all she right. thought I called the wrong name. Okay, no, no, no. we're all set. Just kidding. Everybody has had their moment. We are good. Um, <laughs> yeah, she said that. I was like, okay. Okay, so we're gonna move forth with the physician assistant professional oath. I will now recite the physician assistant oath. PA students, please stand, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. Okay. I pledge to perform the following duties with honesty and dedication. I will hold as my primary responsibility the health, safety, welfare, and dignity of all human beings. I will hold as my primary responsibility the health, safety, welfare, and dignity of all human beings. I will uphold the tenets of patient autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence, and justice. I will uphold the tenets of patient autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence, and justice. I will recognize and promote the value of diversity. I will recognize and promote the value of diversity. I will treat equally all persons who seek my care. I will treat equally all persons who seek my care. I will hold in confidence the information shared in the course of practicing medicine. I will hold in confidence the information shared in the course of practicing medicine. I will assess my personal capabilities and limitations, striving always to improve my medical practice. I will assess my personal capabilities and limitations, striving always to improve my medical practice. I will actively seek to expand my knowledge and skills, keeping abreast of advances in medicine. I will actively seek to expand my knowledge and skills, keeping abreast of advances in medicine. I will work with other members of the healthcare team to provide compassionate and effective care of patients. I will work with other members of the healthcare team to provide compassionate and effective care of patients. I will use my knowledge and experience to contribute to an improved community. I will use my knowledge and experience to contribute to an improved community. I will respect my professional relationship with the physician. I will respect my professional relationship with the physician. I will share and expand knowledge within the profession. I will share and expand knowledge within the profession. These duties are pledged with sincerity and upon my honor. These duties are pledged with sincerity and upon my honor. Congratulations and welcome to the profession. <laughs> to keep the closing remarks brief. I do have a few housekeeping details for uh, all of us gathered here today. So the first is that we are going to be doing photographs of the cohort. So as soon as we conclude, Mallory is going to be the Pied Piper and she's going to lead you down and out. So um, all 50 of you, please follow Mallory and we'll go get some photos done of the cohort with your white coats. Leave all your stuff here, you're gonna come back. Friends, family, loved ones, we will return them to you, uh, but it'll probably be about 10 or 15 minutes. Some food is gonna be put out on the left side overlooking the lake, so please do enjoy a few nibbles and mingle and chat amongst yourselves. Um, and then the rest of us will return uh, to mix and mingle with everybody, and then you all can head out and enjoy this beautiful day. So again, congratulations, class of 2026. Welcome to the profession. And if I could have all of the students follow Mallory, please. We'll let them exit and then we'll mix and mingle.